Hi everyone, this is Josh from Accessible Japan. Today we've come to Minami Aoyama, where we're going to check out a stylish yet refined museum that's also very friendly for wheelchair users. It's called Nezu Museum, and let's go check it out. Uh, this is the very popular Instagram spot. On the beautiful long hallway we have bamboo on both sides, and it's really, really a Japanese feel to it. This museum was designed by Kengo Kuma, who is the architect behind the Tokyo Olympic Stadium. Not only is it beautiful, it's also very flat and easy for wheelchair users to move around in. It's truly been designed for everyone to enjoy. Right from the entrance you'll notice that there's not a step to be found. It's very flat and easy to move around in the museum. And then as you come into the main hall here, not only is the museum very beautiful, but you're greeted with a huge view of a Japanese garden. You'd almost forget that you're in the middle of Tokyo. The museum is very spacious and it's easy to move around in a wheelchair. You do not need to worry about bumping into anything or anyone. In the collection, there are over 7,400 pieces from Japan and East Asia of pre-modern art, as well as seven national treasures. Using the elevator, you can go to every floor in the museum. The light above these ancient Chinese bronze pieces makes them jump out of the display. Due to the large windows and the ideal height for wheelchair users, it is easy for everyone to enjoy these pieces of history. For both seniors and guests with disabilities, wheelchairs and walkers are available to be borrowed. They can be used both in the museum and in the cafe. Exiting the main building, there's a very large Japanese garden that you can explore. Because there are a number of hills and slopes and bumps, it's recommended that you go with somebody. Wandering along this path, you can see a building that comes under the site. It's the Nez Cafe. Let's go have a coffee. It's accessible to wheelchair users as well. Wow. The design is absolutely beautiful here. You get green on all sides, so you feel like you're in the forest. And on top of that, light trickles in through the roof. Wow. This seat is perfect. All the greenery reminds me of my home back in Canada. The tables in the cafe as well are a perfect height for wheelchair users, even people who are using foreign wheelchairs. This is a matcha latte. And it's delicious. It's a perfect mixture of both bitter and sweet. It has a real Japanese taste to it. One of the other excellent points of Nezu uh, Museum is that there's a huge Japanese garden out behind it. If you use the road on the outside path, uh, you can go all the way around in a wheelchair. However, there is a height difference of about 12 meters, so the slopes are a bit uh, uh, of an angle. So it's recommended that you go with a person to help you, like my friend Kazuhiro. Three years ago, they made this new path that allows everyone to go along and see the beautiful water scenes. It's wide enough so that people can pass each other with no problems at all. So even though you're in the middle of Tokyo, even, it's so quiet here that you can even hear the water running. Hello. Hi. Welcome to the museum. Oh, thank you. It's very easy to move around in a wheelchair. In年度 in Japan, they have a multi-purpose toilet, which means that you can use it uh, whether you're male or female, uh, and it's specifically designed for people with disabilities. And I noticed there's one on the first floor as well as on the basement floor, uh, and it's very excellent and easy to use. The thing that made me the most happy was that there was a uh, backrest on the toilet, 
which makes it very easy to use. Thank you very much. あの、ご要望がありましたので、最近それに、え、答えて、え、設置しました。